If you know something about the United States, you probably have heard of Congress. Congress is composed of two different branches, the Senate and the House of Representatives. Congress is the group in the department, the branch of the government that makes the laws. That's what Congress is. Recently, they passed a recovery bill uh, or sometimes a disaster relief bill. Okay, So what happened was we're in this bad situation. If you work for an airline, you might have lost your job. Many people lost their jobs. And so the government has to do something. If you have people at home unable to work and they want to work and they can't pay their rent, can't pay their bills, that's a disaster. That will have terrible economic consequences in the future, even now, right? Also, small businesses are suffering. They have to close. If you have to close, but you also are trying to pay your workers, you run out of money very quickly. Some big businesses also. Also, you have the health crisis going on. Hospitals need money. They need equipment. They need all kinds of stuff to take care of patients, tests, all that stuff. So the government recently just passed this, what's called a bill, to try to fix as much as possible. People are getting money directly, including apparently me, I think. Uh, get money. Actually receive a check in the mail or, or uh, uh, maybe it's going to be online. I'm not sure how it's going to come. But uh, they're sending out money. They're doing uh, unemployment insurance better, giving more people unemployment insurance payments during this time and a bunch of other stuff. So we'll quickly watch the video, get your questions ready, and I'm going to also be talking about it a little bit. Okay, so if you do have questions about it as you're watching it, just leave them in the comments. Leave your questions in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to to answer them. All right. So here we go. We're going to watch this. You ready? I'm proud to announce tonight not a single senator voted against this $2 trillion rescue bill to save American individuals, small businesses, large businesses, and to provide considerable funding for the health care workers and the scientists and the doctors and others who are trying to solve this pandemic. So I think if I were writing your headline, I'd say the Senate has pivoted from one of the most contentious partisan periods in the nation's history to passing this rescue package 100 to nothing. Catch my breath. This is a good ending. The twists and turns were enormous. There were some down moments. But as you know, those of you who kept asking me, are we going to get a bill, I always had faith we would because America and the American people demanded it. I, t I said on the floor, this illness is so, so different and difficult. And so when we passed this bill on the floor of the Senate, we didn't hug each other. We just waved from a distance. So I don't know how much of that you guys could understand, but basically what was going on there was two people who are in the Senate, okay? Now, the Senate is a smaller group than the House of Representatives. There are two groups in Congress, and the Senate is made up of 100 members, two per state. That's the Senate. And it's more powerful, generally considered to be more powerful than the House of Representatives, even though it has fewer members, sort of like the, the power is condensed a little bit, right? And so what they've done is pass what's called a stimulus. They're calling it a stimulus package. Again, it's called a bill. It has lots of different, lots of different names. Passed means what? Well, that means that it was voted on and approved. Now, this is, you might think, of, yeah, of course, duh. Well, no problem. Well, this is a big deal because Congress, especially the Senate, they're famous for not passing things because it's, they don't have enough votes on either side. Too many yeses, too many noes. And it's sort of locked, we say, a deadlock, which means things can't move forward. Here, you've heard the word unanimous. Now, the first guy who walks out, his name is Mitch McConnell. He is a Republican, famous for stopping things and not allowing things to pass. He's announcing a unanimous passage of this stimulus package. Package means it's a group of things 
together. Stimulus is to stimulate. To stimulate is to hopefully encourage activity, uh, economic activity, uh, activity among workers maybe, or at least the ability to buy things at the supermarket during a difficult time. So to stimulate, it's called a stimulus, a stimulus package, sometimes a recovery package, you could call it either either thing. Okay, so McConnell, the Republican, comes out and announces that the bill has passed unanimously. Unanimous, what does that mean? Everybody agreed. Everyone said yes. Everyone voted yes. That's amazing, first of all. We could say it's unprecedented. Now, he, McConnell, is the majority leader. That means that in his party, in the Senate, there are more in his party in the Senate. Then the next guy, who is actually one of my senators, because I live in New York, Chuck Schumer, he is the minority leader. Actually, the Democrats on his side, that's a smaller group in the Senate. So the majority is the Republicans, minority, so majority, minority, minority is the Democrats. Okay, that means it's a smaller group in the Senate. Then he gave his remarks. He, he said there are twists and turns. What does that mean, twists and turns? That means that sometimes things go this way, sometimes things go that way, meaning during this process of trying to pass this stupid thing, well, it's, I mean, it's not stupid, but the process probably felt frustrating sometimes. During this process, they're, they're debating and it looks like it's going to fail and then it looks like people are getting in the way and it, it looks like so many different, different things are possibly going to go wrong. So we say twists and turns. We can use that phrase. There were so many twists and turns in this process. I wasn't sure how it was going to come out. Finally, we were successful. Finally, we passed it unanimously. So twists and turns. Now, you also heard him talk about the floor. Why are they talking about the floor? Well, actually, there is a floor, a lower level in the, in the Senate, in this large thing called the Senate chamber. And the senators sit around and in fancy leather chairs and they debate but when they're talking at the ground level they have the floor right they pass it on the floor that's where they vote so yes it is a floor but it also has another meaning that is the important place where they go to vote so you'll hear often the senate floor that's where the action happens that's where the speeches happen that's where the votes happen they go up and they, they put in their vote so those are the common words that you heard. The last one I want to mention quickly is contentious. Contentious. Contentious means that a lot of people are debating, a lot of people are disagreeing, say you're wrong, I think this and you think that, and so that's contentious. There's a lot of debate and argument happening. It's very contentious. You can be a contentious person, but you can also be in sort of a contentious situation, a process, like in this, in this case, with the but the stimulus package or the reco the recovery plan can be contentious as well. So hopefully those words are clear. Now, as far as the results of this, basically, it's to help out individuals, to give people money, to help out people who are unemployed, unemployment insurance, to help some large corporations get help, borrow money, and also to help hospitals and small businesses. So it's pretty big, and it's too billion dollars <laughs> or no trillion dollars i said billion that's a tiny amount two trillion dollars which is a crazy amount of money i wish i had i wish i had one trillion dollars i would buy i would buy a one trillion dollar golden boat so hopefully that's clear and guys if you haven't make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe and check out the links in the description as well